So we're going to do some fractions. You down? That's what rational numbers means. Basically, fractions, decimals, okay. all kinds of numbers. All right. So if I threw up, like, let's say, 2 thirds of 15, it's all good. It's all good. I'll, put it, I'll make it money. I'll make it money. 2 thirds of 15 bucks. I like to make it money because we make it rain up in here. Just kidding. <laughs> $15, yeah. <laughs> we want 2 thirds of this amount, right? So just like give me a nod or one of these if you think you know what the answer is. Let's go like one of these. OK, I'm not seeing much nodding. No. Yeah, you got it. OK, I'm glad. I'm glad. Cool. What is it? 10. 10, nice. How'd you do it? Uh, 5, 4, 3. Or 5, 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. That's so good. That's so good. I'm going to knock it over, you know? That's right. It's 5, 10, 15. 2 thirds of 15. So you could say basically 5, 5, and 5. These are thirds split into three groups. And then 2 thirds of it will be this guy and this guy. So that's 10. Well done. So here's a challenge for you. If I wanted to do it mathematically, oftentimes people don't know this, what the word of means in math land. She read my mind before I even answered the question. Welcome aboard. So happy to have you. That's right. Of, if you heard her, means times in what I like to call math land, OK? So if we're visiting Mathland, to say 2 thirds of 15, what's your name? I didn't get it. My name's Blue. Blue? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Blue. I'm Robert. All right? Yeah, I'm Robert. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. So glad to have you with us. We're just sharing the love of math and the love of connecting with the people. That's all I want to do. All right? So 2 thirds of 15 is 2 thirds times 15. That's the same thing, which is kind of special. OK? And if you know anything about multiplying fractions, you know the following. Upstairs, these two multiply, and these two multiply. That's basically what it is. So that's bringing the math into what you did instinctively. I really celebrate here what Blue did. You did it like intuitively. You're like 5, 10, 15, right? A lot of time people are so like caught up on doing it a set way, like a very rigid way, a school way necessarily. But you could do it a traditional way, which is this. Or you could do what he did. He split 15 into thirds, 5, 10, 15, and you stopped at 10. That was special, right? But if we wanted to learn how to multiply fractions as well, what's 2 times 15? Call it out. 30, yeah, with the body language. Nice. Welcome aboard. That's 30. And what is 3 times 1? Or 1, 3, basically. 3, hit. Hit, yeah, 3. And then we know that 30 divided by 3 is what number? 10. Well done. All right? And then one other method that you can do, OK, is over here. If I got 2 thirds times 15 over 1. So there's this act called cross cancel. Have you heard of that? Yeah, of course. Like, it's like, I got this. I got this. <laughs> like it's an afterthought. Right on, right on. That's good. It's a, really, it's a very intuitive skill. It's an important skill. Can 3 and 15 divide into each other? Yeah. That's right. How many times does 3 go into 15? Five, hit this. So I'm going to put this, put this off, and make it a five. And then how many times does three go into itself? Once. So basically, <laughs> once. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> One, right. He's got the energy. He's got the body. That's right. Yeah, you know, I actually encourage people to work with their bodies. You know, when I go like this, you feel it means more. When I go like this, it feels like it means less. You know? So like actually doing that with the body actually helps you visualize it. It's really cool. So especially people like dancers are very perceptive in that regard. So we're dividing both of these by 3. That's basically what we're doing, all right? Divided by 3 is 5. Divided by 3, blue set is 1. And now we multiply across. 2 times 5 is 10. And then over 1, which we don't nearly need to say, is 10. Congratulations. All right, now I got a bigger challenge, all right? If you got fuel in the tank, here you go. Here it comes. Now that you know how to multiply fractions, we can multiply any fraction in the world. So we're making progress, right? So 2 thirds times 2 and 1 half. If I do the spider successfully with your ball, will you help me do some math? Let's do it. Nice. OK, so spiders 2 in the front, 2 in the back. OK, here we go. Rocking it. 
Rocking and rolling. Hey. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you. There you go. Woo! Okay. I love b-ball. I just love walking around with the ball. I feel good, you know? I feel good. You're in the right place to do it. So, two thirds of two and a half. Two thirds of two and a half. That's kind of weird. You're welcome to stay, but if you can, I get it too. It's all good. Would love to have you. Okay? Two thirds of two and a half is kind of a hard thing to answer. Look, Blue's thinking about it. Do you happen to know the answer? I will tell you honestly, I don't. I don't know the answer to this. Two thirds of two and a half. Can you picture two and a half pizzas? One in four six. It might be right. Dude, I actually don't know. I really don't know. This is two and a half. Okay? And the idea is, what we want to do is, you good? Do you know? One and two thirds. Is that right? What is it? 10 over six. So which would be, I actually don't know the answer, so you could be right, you could be not. 10 over six, uh, which would divide by two, top and bottom, which would be five over three, right? So you're feeling five thirds. Up and down, left and right, feeling so good, feeling so right, back and forth. Side to side, feeling so good. Okay, so the way I like to think of uh, two thirds of two and a half is I like to think of pizza. You have two and a half pizzas, three people are here, right? And two of them are eating. So let's see if we could do two thirds as an experiment. Maybe we split these all into like a sixth or something, just have a little fun with it. There, that's six slices of pizza. That's six slices of pizza. There's three more slices of pizza, all right? So how many slices all together? If we have six here, six here, and three more, how many is that? Six piece, six slices, six slices, three more. How, how many are we eating, baby? How many? 15, 15, right? Okay, cool. So 15. So that's 15 slices, 15 slices, and oh, we're back to 15. We're back to thirds of 15, blue. We're back to 15. So what would two thirds of this be? How, two thirds would be how many slices? 10. That's right. I think you got it, didn't you? You totally got it. Well done. So if you wanted two thirds of 15 slices, Two thirds of 15 would be 10 slices, right? And then you ask yourself a slice, each slice is one sixth. So one sixth, each are weighing around. So it's 10 of these. I'll even shade it, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six, we want 10 total. One, two, three, four. Is that six plus four? So that's 10 sixths. 10 sixths is 5 thirds is correct. Now, it's okay that you didn't see that right away. I wasn't planning on doing that. We could do it mathematically. Let's do it mathematically. Where are you from? UK. Do you, do you love maths? Your math teacher, you know, math teacher. Yeah, lending a helping hand. The fellow educator, rocking and rolling. So would you suggest turning this to what? What's your style? Yeah, yeah, to an improper fraction, that's right. A really good way, so this was a, a visual way. What we did over here was we're asking what two thirds times two and a half is. Our young friends over here, they probably see this in school all the time. And uh, you guys work with fractions in school? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. I like your attitude, you're like, you're, you're here. You're totally here. Venice Beach, we're living life, we're having moments, okay? And uh, I think the problem is we don't spend enough time talking about what two thirds of two and a half is like in general. Like we all may eat pizza, I don't know if it's California, like gluten free and you know, dairy free and all that stuff. But we're eating pizza and this is uh, two and a half pizzas and I cut them up into six. But if we're gonna do our friends from the UK suggestion, we could turn two and a half into an improper fraction. 
So the question is, how many halves? Yeah, math, math time. Math time, you want to join us? Awesome. Have you ever looked at two and a half pizzas? Have you ever seen two and a half pizzas on a table? Awesome, so we're visualizing two and a half pizzas. All right, how many halves is that? Five. They know! Good job, yeah, we know. There you go. <laughs> you know this. All right, five halves. That's right. Well done. The reason we turned two and a half into five halves is so we can multiply with two thirds. That's why we did it. That's right. So in the previous example, we're telling other friends over here that you could actually do what's called cross canceling to make our lives easier. Yes, I'm getting looks of knowing. We know it. Okay, what? What do these cancel to? You're right, because the twos go into what number? One. one. Multiply across and you get, say it one more time. Five thirds. Five thirds. Hit me with the yay math. Yay math! Yay math! Nice, nice. Rock and roll, we're here. We're alive. Five thirds, so that's a way to do it numerically, okay? Let's multiply more fractions. Go like this. Do you see two fifths, two up here, two down? Yeah, do you see two up? I love that, I'm gonna do it with the hands. I didn't even think to do that. Two fifths. Now flip it like reciprocals. What over what? Five over, two. five over two, boss. Good job. So we got five over two in the house. That's the reciprocal. Five over two. Okay, let's do another example. One and one third. Now that's weird because we can't really get one and one third, right? Put that down. So what we need to do is turn that into an improper fraction again. All right, I know we're feeling what the improper is. No, no, don't turn your back, turn back. You wanna hang? No, you don't have to. Love math again, one day. <laughs> you're with us, you're with us. What's your name? Tada. Nada? Tada. Tada, uh -huh. where are you from? Jordan. Jordan, yeah. welcome. Math. Yeah. Like math is universal, yeah. you totally That's get it. To yeah, you it. totally get it. You said it's Tada? Tada, yeah. T-A-D-A? T-A-R-A. Tara, okay, Tada, welcome, welcome. So one and one third, have you, do you eat pizza too? Yeah. Love pizza. One and one third pizza, can you see it on the table? How many thirds is that? You want me to draw it? That's close, you want me to draw it? Let's draw. One and a third. So here's a question. What major car company splits this circle into thirds. Anyone know it? Whoa, wind. What? Yeah, Mercedes. Mercedes splits it into thirds. That's right. But here we go. How many thirds is this? How many thirds is this? All together four, bravo. Great. So I want to commend Tara for actually like making a guess and now you realize why it didn't work and now you learn something. That was the whole point of being here. That's right, yeah. When you woke up this morning, you're like, I'm gonna drink kombucha and I'm gonna learn math. Oh, yeah. That's right, I knew that's what you were thinking, right? <laughs> so we're gonna turn this into reciprocals. So this is four thirds. All right, you're welcome to do it. Blue had the idea because he's a dancer, right? He understands the art. If you wanna go like this, four over three, to make it a reciprocal, you do that with your body and you visualize what the number is. All right, so what's the reciprocal of four thirds? Say it, you can say it. Four over three becomes three over four. That's right. And which is cool is like we started with this, so it's like we didn't know what to do here until we turned it to this, and then this gets the reciprocal, all right? One more. We're not endorsing the brand. We can take that off. All right. Six. What is the reciprocal of six? Right? I don't see a fraction yet. What is the fraction version of six? Six over, I know you're thinking it. You wanna say it? Yeah, over one. This guy, instant impact. <laughs> He's like, nah, I got this. I'm, 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 I'm good. <laughs> you are. <laughs> like, and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> Just one problem, he's gone. <laughs> I love that. You guys are hanging out, which I appreciate, but it's just funny when someone's just like, one. Just like goes. <laughs> All right. He's right, six over one. So help me out, last reciprocal problem. What's the reciprocal of six over one? A sixth, right, that's what you said? Rock and roll. Do you love math? You're pretty, do you love it? 
Okay, you don't have to. I was just wondering where you stand. That's cool. Welcome aboard. Not really. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get you to love math again, you know? Just having human moments here out on the beach. This is teach on the beach, by the way. Teach, beach. <laughs> Join this. All right, cool, man. This is called Teach on the Beach. I'm the Teach. That's the beach. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Whittier. Nice. Oh, you're a dancer, man. I can tell. Can you can you do 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 something? Do 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 a little. Yeah, one two time and two times. Give it one time more and a two times. Moving the shoulder, moving the boulder. Up and down, left and right, feeling so good, feeling so right. Back and forth, side to side, feeling so good. Then we're gonna divide up and down, left and right. Through the night. <laughs> nice. All right, Whittier, let's do this. Wow, and you dodged it. Yeah, you're just a. Uh...